Chocolate Factory. Yeah, so that's where the hotel is. Yeah. So, yeah, they're all going to be the exact same recipes. You're starting for say cacao, 30% sugar. Mm -hmm. The only difference in them is going to be where that tree is going on. So, it's similar to wine, that terroir of the yeah, is going to affect the tree. And that's what makes wine taste different. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it. So go ahead and get started on the tasting. As you're trying these ingredients, I like to tell people to spend time with your chocolate. So I'm looking for the salad. It doesn't taste great. It doesn't taste a little bit spicy. If you're not sure, you can look at this tasting yeah. meal. It's kind of your best oh, friend. You want to go to the top of what you might be tasting. I could smell it already. <laughs> so yes. I know it's chocolate. Um, and then just so you know, tasting meals are actually linked to your memory. So yeah. if you're not really feeling anything like this, then it tastes more yeah. like yeah. Okay. Yeah. a grape yeah. something yeah. as well. I thought you said so there wasn't any coffee. Well. 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 It tastes um, more nutty and earthy to me. So the first one we're going to try is our Hawaii dark. So this cacao is coming from the Big Island from Kona. Okay. You want to put your hand so out? So this, 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 the, the, the like, tea that you said you no, had? No, so we have actually Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii chocolate. So you want to let it rest on the palate for two to three seconds, and then you can take a little bite into it, let it make its way front, back, mm. side to side. And that will allow you to taste a little bit more. Oh, I think this is the one I'm going to be long Are you tasting anything specific? Anything sticking out to you? A little cream cheese? You get cream cheese. Mm -hmm. You like those? <laughs> a lot of people taste... Is it like cranberry or something? Yeah, a lot of people do get dark berries. For me, I get more citrus and then roast and like how many seeds. Really? Yeah, but we're all... Different. We have different tastes. Yeah, it's fun to just kind of talk about it. Yeah, all right, moving on. on. The next one is a little bar. So this is a bar from this mm -hmm. island. It's fun to try chocolate very well right now. Okay. So Milani is the very center of the island. What makes this bar unique is actually <laughs> after their very first harvest <laughs> ever, they sent their beans to our owner. He tried them, loved them so much that he made this chocolate bar and then entered it in two contests with 400 contestants each. And the Milani bar won the first place in both. So it won best in the origin and best in the chocolate. No, we didn't win that. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we are. All right. <laughs> I keep eating them. I'm, I need to wait for the instructions, don't I? <laughs> no, you're good. Okay. So hopefully, noticing that they taste different. This one is from the island. This island. Yep. I don't know. Um, let's see. I'm still getting the same thing, but like a little floral. floral. Yeah, yeah. This one is really light, bright, and fruity. And fruity as well. Cherry, blueberry, it's very chocolate. Yeah. It is a little bit more fruity. Yeah. But first it kicked off with a little glory. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The biggest takeaway is just noticing that they're different. That's good. This, I'm liking it. Fruity to me. Yeah. But, but first, this, this one came off like this. And then as you bite, it get more fruity to me. All right, you guys, we're going to shift gears now. So All right. for the last three, uh, you don't need to use the tasting wheel. You don't need to spend time with the chocolate. You can just bite right into them. These are what we call our inclusion bars. So most of our collection is inclusion bars. So that's going to be where we're adding things to the chocolate. Also, we're going to start relying on farms around the world. So Ecuador, Dominican Republic, and Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Now you can that are all areas that we source from to make up most of our inclusion bars. The exception to that is this rum bar and our milk chocolate. Those are going to still be um, Hawaiian cacao. So Kohana Rum is a local rum distillery. Their goal is to make agricole rum, which is rum straight from sugar cane instead of molasses. They actually use 34 different varieties of sugar cane to make their rum, which I didn't even know existed in the world. I didn't know it was so I hope this one is sweet. So sugar cane. <laughs> it is. Okay. You yes, it's very fun. 
Um, but as far as the spar goes, we send them our nibs. They soak it in a white rum called a chaos for an entire month. Mm -hmm. We take those nibs out to dehydrate them, so there's no alcohol actually left on the spar, which might be shocking to you. Um, make a chocolate bar, and then they actually make a chocolate rum called a cocoa leco, which is really good as well. So this is the highest percentage that we have at 75 percent, but it is the sweetest. It's the sweetest? Yes. Meaning, it's not going to be sweet. And then we take 100% cone of coffee and cacao nibs and sprinkle them on the back. So those nibs are going to give it a nice texture or a nice crunch. I like to say it's reminiscent of a Nestle Crunch bar, but better or like an adult version of a Nestle Crunch bar. So we take the coffee on the back. But the, the texture that you get is from the nibs. Oh, so this is going to be like coffee lovers. Yeah, it's very popular. Yeah, so you can see the texture. Because I don't think babes are this I don't think I've ever seen this one. Really? I don't, I don't it's remember. It's been around the longest. I probably just don't remember it. That is okay. I like that. You like it? Okay. Yeah, because you love, you're into coffee now, so yeah, that's good. All right, you guys. The last one we're going to try is part of our Flavors of Hawaii collection, which is a five-bar collection that we collaborated with a local artist on. So her name is Punky Roja. She's known for doing these bright and bold, colorful prints, such as this. And then the flavors are all kind of tropical inspired. So this is our Lily Koi or Passion Fruit bar. Got it. Passion fruit, y'all. Yes. I love really cool. Um, no, This one I think is pretty well rounded. It's buttery, it's tart, it's acidic. Great your favorite. Yes. Mmm. Also, yeah, yeah, I'm on this side and I'm on this side too. So, so far, I like the sweet one, the Kahana Rum. That's my favorite. And I'll go with the Lani. Yeah. Where, where are you? My favorite one is that one. This one? Yeah. Really? No, actually, this is my favorite. Say the rum one. And it's, then it's this one. Yeah. And then the lady boy. Right. So there you go, you guys. That is the mini tasting. That's just a super good version of the entire collection. Mm -hmm. so all the bars that we have to sell are going to be right up here. Mm -hmm. Before I kind of get these two, I want to draw your attention just behind you to our gift set. So, the top. So I think I'm just gonna buy this one. Which one is this one? Seventy percent. Yeah, go get that one. Yeah. Let me do this get one. The richest, the rich one. Mango. I need. A, let me do mango because he likes mango. Them are unknown to taste that one. Mm mm. I'm gonna do those. Your wallet? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I actually gave you the prize.
I want to go back this way. So guys, we just left the chocolate factory. And but it's, we actually found two that we like. Actually, as you guys can see, I took the mango one. Because my baby likes mango. So I'm going to have him try it. If my baby don't like mango, it's a bat. I can't take but this. But I, I took the richest one, the mm -hmm. 75%, because it was actually sweet. Mm -hmm. And my baby likes sweet. <laughs> <laughs> if my baby don't like something. But yeah. So did far, you did you like the hike this morning? Oh, yeah. yes. It was yeah. better than the last one. The last one we were rushing for. So we were rushing for the pillbox, for, not the pillbox hike. The, um, oh, which one was it? The lighthouse. Oh, Let's cross. So we were rushing for the lighthouse one. So she didn't get to enjoy it much. So yeah, we had to go to the ATV. So we were so we were that rushing one. that one, but this one she got time. Yeah. And her feet got to rest last night. So this one was good. We went to Lanikai pillbox mm -hmm. and then went to the beach. How was the beach? Good. She loved the water. That's my third day and I'm good. Mission accomplished. So we kind of dressed down today because this is just like an off day. We didn't plan to go anywhere after. But we are passing a farmer's market, so let's check it out. Just a pancake? Got the flavors out here, but I'm gonna let Jeanette help me pick since this is her spot. Oh, 
tropical one. So the lemon and guava and papaya. That's it. Try the mochi ball. Oh mm. You like it? I like how it's gummy, but it don't have a taste. No. Because mm -hmm. it's like rice. Yeah. Mm. It reminds me of Pelican. Oh yeah. We have a shave ice in Atlanta. It reminds me of Pelican. Mm -hmm. Good morning guys! It's my last day. She's taking me to the beach one more day. I get to go this morning. Quick dip. Quick dip. But we stopped to take um, okay, this lucky. sign right here. I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but we stopped to take a quick photo and then head to the beach and then grab a quick breakfast and then do a couple things before I leave. I leave tonight, um, so I still got a lot of the day to do stuff. Um, but yeah, quick dip, day four at the beach. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. But we're on the roadside, if you can see. Yeah. We just park up on the roadside. All right. This is just a quick little dip. Huh? Oh. So she brought me to this one. Just a, not so fancy, but you know, just a different area. So we're going set up and just fine. Like at least try to get my feet working. Yeah. Her last dip. Hi. So we're at Lanikai Beach, our third beach. There's no turtle on now. Oh, 
this is another little spot we found after swimming i can't remember the name of this beach but my sister will tell me but we just came over here to see what it looks like after leaving the other third turtle bay beach so we're having breakfast at kono's this morning we left the beach and this was the same place we came at breakers Seven and a half. You gotta tell me what this is the long year. But I'll tell you. Yeah, so she can either get the chops. So these have um, Kalua pork. It's pork for like, slow cook for like 12 hours. And um, so I normally either get the chops or the alayu up. This one comes with bacon and they all come with like eggs, potatoes. 